Hi everybody, this is Techno Freak here. Just wanted to talk a little bit about more on GIMP. This is my third video on GIMP tutorials. And this one I want to talk about adding text. Now you can see I got my image from my previous one tutorial on adding planets and that. But let's say we wanted to throw some text into here. Well, we can click on the A here for your text tool change to whatever font you want. I like a sans bold italic. Change your font size to let's say like a hundred and let's make a new layer here and this layer will be your text layer. And let's also change the color. Uh, we got kind of a darker background so let's go to a light blue. We can just do tutorial. Once we have that layer made we can do a lot of stuff here. Right click up here by your tutorials layer, add alpha to selection. Now you can see here where it's all, it's got the moving uh, rings around it because I got it selected. Now we can go to our selection and we can grow. Uh, let's just do like an eight pixels for a grow. Now you can see how it, the outline grew quite a bit. Now what I like to do here is add a new layer. And I'll put this as background or background text. Make this transparent. Click OK. See now I got my uh, growing selection on the new layer. And I got it for background text. Now what I want to do is I'm on my background text layer. I want to move that below my text. Now what we can do is uh, do our click on our fill bucket. And we can change that background color so that it pops out more. And we want to fill whole selection. That's very important. And let's say we want to make it so that that blue really pops out on the screen. So we got um, foreground color, the FG foreground color fill. And that color is black as you can see right here. Now we got our bucket fill tool and we click on there. A real light kind of a, a depth per, uh, look which gives it a real nice appearance makes it pop out of the background as you can see here now that's one way of adding text now if we come up here and go to new and remember set this to whatever size you're recording in um, this next part I'm going to show you here is how to add overlay text now it's pretty simple it's a lot of the same things I'm doing right here on here you, like if you're running an 800 by 600 screen resolution change it to 800 by 600 for width you got other advanced options down here you can put in your comments of who created it or whatever you want I don't worry about that stuff um, you can fill it with your background color, foreground color, it says background color there. I'll do foreground color because I just want it white. Now the trick here is, is let's say if you got um, a video where it's a lot with the sky or something and you want to put your text at the top, you might want to change this to a blue so that it will rep you can get an idea like here. I'll do like a, a medium blue, okay, and I will click OK. Now, like if you're going to put letters up here in the sky of an outdoor shot, but you want it to be overlaid, well, that's real easy. We'll add a set of text, sans bold, 100. But now because we got a blue sky, let's just say we want a red color for our main text. Have it at 100. We click on it for our text, and let's say... Uh, GIMP tutorials. Now we don't like where it's sitting so now we can click on our letters and move them over. Now let's say we want to add a background image where it makes it pop out a little more. We do the alpha to selection for our now you can see how we get the tracing lines that are moving. Now add new layer background text keep it for the same size as your video make it transparent click OK now let's move this layer 
down one so it's underneath the text. Now we still got our alpha to selection. Come up here to select and we can shrink, meaning we'll make another color inside. If we do that, we can put our background text on top of the of the uh, letter so that the, the overlay would be on top of the letters. But now we're going to do another grow one. Grow it by, let's just do 10 pixels this time. Give it a much more bigger background. Now we can go to our fill selector. Um, let's see, we got a blue sky. So let's make it um, we'll do a black again. Well, we got our black background and it's set to foreground. So we just change this to background color. Fill whole selection. Get just off your red there in between. GIMP tutorials. Makes it look kind of nice. Now, if you want to do a multicolor, you can come in here on your letters again. Select your letters layer. Go to select none. Now, when you're on your letters, because remember the letters were only the red part. Now we click, right click, and go down to alpha to selection. You can see how it has just the red part highlighted. Now we can select and go shrink. And we can shrink this by, let's say, um, we'll see, let's see what three pixels does. Not quite enough. We'll shrink it by another couple pixels here. Go shrink. We'll shrink it by another uh, two pixels. See how that looks. There we go. You can still see we got markers on the inside. Now we can change the foreground color, let's say, to a green. Make sure we're on our fill bucket. We'll change this back to foreground, to FG, color fill. That's what the FG stands for, is foreground. And you got your background color. That's talking about your green color that I got selected here for the foreground. And here's your background color. You can swap these around with the little arrow here. Um, make sure it's fill whole selection. Now you just get your pointer just inside of here, inside your selected area. And when you click, you get a little bit of a unique look. Now if we turn that selection off by going up to select and then none, now you can see where you added kind of a unique look to your letters. What's kind of neat is when you shrink it down like this, it doesn't get every part of the letter. As you can see here with the N's and stuff, or with the M and stuff, and with the P, because of the strokeness of the lettering, you get bigger colors, thinner colors. Now you want to make this as a transparency over the top of a image, like that you recorded. All we then do is click on our background color, delete this. Now you see the checkerboard pattern, that's because there is no color background. So this is a transparency. Now all we do is we can go to File, Export To, and like here in my videos, I got my made title images, and save it as a PNG, and you can put on here like your GIMP overlay tutorial, and then put a title behind it, so you know it's for a title screen. Now if you hit the export, which actually I can do, Okay, now that we got our GIMP tutorial made there, I can come in here to my Caden Live, fire that up. Now we got my Caden Live. Now we can click Add Clip. Here's my GIMP tutorial background images. Now that's the XFCE. GIMP, yeah, GIMP overlay, the one I just made. Now you can see where that's there. Oops, did that wrong delete clip add clip transparent background has to be checked imp overlay tutorial titles got to make sure you have the transparent background for images so that when you select there add another clip it's the one of recording I just did before now we drag our video down now we can drag our image down and you can see here when you look up here we get our GIMP tutorials over the top. Now you can stretch that out as far as you want, and when you play it, Hi, you can hear 
the GIMP tutorial is right over the top. So that gives you a real simple, easy idea of how to do overlay text on top of your screens. And that's just using a GIMP program. And it's quick and easy as you just saw. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them. And I will get back to them as soon as I can. Hope you enjoyed this. It's a pretty straightforward, simple tutorial. I'll be showing more uh, later on how to make more effects on your text, text and all that for overlays. Um, as always, this is Techno Freak.